Tango 2352, Zulu, wind 060 at 11, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 11, 2.2, altimeter 3014. Howdy guys, taxiing out for instrument proficiency. These are called foggles. This is what you have to wear and you got to bring a safety pilot. So I bought John. It's nice to have a twin Cessna guy that's very current instrument to be your safety pilot. Mr. Safety. So we're going to bang out six approaches, do our mist and do it all under the foggles and get the currency reset. We'll call ground, taxi out, expecting runway nine. We're ground, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's coming out of Skyhaven with Tango. Request taxi for a VFR departure to the west. Our 771, Bravo Charlie, we're ground, runway 9, air taxi via Alpha, cross runway 36 at Alpha, hold short runway 33. Runway 9 via Alpha, cross 36 at Alpha, and uh, we'll hold short at 331, Bravo Charlie. Tower Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is ready to go runway 9 to the west VFR. Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, roger. Runway 9 or left turn approved, cliff takeoff. Runway 9, cliff for takeoff 1 Bravo Charlie. 06012. Alright, do you still see the Remos? Um, I do not have the Remos in sight. Oh, I do. There he got is. Off cross one. All right. Oh, I Lined got up him. on the runway. Power's going to come at 1700. Then we're going to get the mixtures going full rich. All right, engine instruments are green. Good to go. Release the brakes. Bring the power in. All right. Gauges in the green. Everything's Fuel flows green. look good. Airspeed's alive. 70, 80, 90. Rotate. Tap the brakes. You're coming up. Climbing out of blue line. You're stowed. Chicago approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie 3 southwest of Aurora 2500 request. November 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago, say request. One Bravo Charlie, just looking for some practice approaches and I'd like to start off with the RNAV runway 9 at Aurora, followed by the RNAV 10 at DuPage. November 1, Bravo Charlie, Roger, squawk 5161. 5161, 1BC. All right, your safety pilot. Okay, I'm foggled up. November 1, Bravo Charlie, your radar contact, midway altimeter 3018. It is Tango is current at Aurora, flight heading 250, vectors to final, maintain VFR at 3000. All right, we'll uh, maintain VFR, you said at three? Uh, if you're able. Yep, one Bravo Charlie, we'll climb up to 3000, heading 250, maintain VFR at three. So now I'm gonna direct, enter, enter, and then I'm gonna hit procedures, RNAV runway nine, enter. And then he said vectors, so enter. Altitude 200 to go. November 1, Bravo Charlie, fly heading 270. And would you like vectors to final, or do you want to join in one of the fixes? One Bravo Charlie heading 270, and vectors to final would work uh, great today. We are in the one Bravo Charlie, traffic 12 o'clock, two miles opposite direction. Altitude, altitude indicates 1,900. One Bravo Charlie looking. 1,100 foot right off our nose, that Remos. If at any point you need to take control, Yep. You take control and tell me to disengage the autopilot. Got it. Or you can just, you know how to work the autopilot. Yep. You got the same one. You can just click the autopilot. That and I know fly. how to work. That's yeah. the only thing I know how to work in this airplane. November 1, Bravo Charlie, turn right heading 360. 1, Bravo Charlie, turning right heading 360. All right, how low are we going to go? We're going to shoot the LPV to 957. Bravo Charlie, flighting 070, intercept runway 9 or final approach course. Heading 070, intercept the final 1 Bravo Charlie. So I put it on a 70 heading, and now I'll arm approach and click approach. So we're in heading mode with approach mode armed. Oh, I forgot I was going to do this. 
we'll get that for the next approaches. Give people something good to look at, right? So we're into approach mode. November 1, Bravo Charlie, 5 miles from Wolf, maintain at or above 2,700 till established on the final approach course, cleared our NAV runway 9 or approach. 2,700 till established, cleared our NAV runway 9, 1, Bravo Charlie. So it's turning to intercept. Light slopes alive. Light Five slope is one dot high. Nine or number two, one nine Coming in with 10 degrees of flaps. Notice the huge pitch up. That's awesome. Tower twin to seven seven one. Bravo Charlie's uh, crossing Wolf inbound on the approach. Will be low approach. Seven seven one. Bravo Charlie, we're tower. I'm showing you just outside of Wolf. So missed approach instructions. Our turn left heading three three zero. Maintain VFR. Runway nine or low approach approved. I have a report on the mist. All right, uh, we'll report the mist, uh, runway nine, low approach approved, and we'll turn left heading 330 on the go, one Bravo Charlie. Incessant one Bravo Charlie, runway nine, clear for the option. Runway nine, clear for the option, one BC. All right. Okay, and I'll give you your before landing, alternate air in. Alternate airs are in. Mixtures, props. Mixtures and props are all set. Flaps. Flaps, we have approach flaps, and I'll keep approach flaps until it fills in sight. Gear down. Gear are down, three in the green. Gear lights, screen, as you said. Aux fuel pumps. Ox fuel pumps are on low. Approach speed, V ref. And uh, I'm at, I fly my approach is 140 miles an hour, which I'm perfectly nailed on. Okay. So Checklist complete. Good. Checklist complete. And we're 2,500 for 957 on the approach. Climb out instructions will be turn left heading 330, and we'll just climb up to 2,500 VFR. Needles are all centered. Needles are all centered. This gives us the uh, lateral course, and that gives us the vertical course. If this were an actual approach, my job would be to keep my head out the window while Kevin pays the instruments, and I would call runway in sight, and then Kevin could lift his head up and look at the runway. It is nice having two pilots. And that and normally I'd give him the radio du duties as well, but since I fly, fly single pilot with never a co-pilot, I'm trying to keep it realistic and task saturate myself. Plus, I'd always use my own call sign, and that'd be confusing. I've never flown this plane and got the call sign right. 1500 for 960. Boy, remember when we used to hand fly everywhere? Yeah, that was awful. For your 49er Alpha, was this the full stop? Forty feet to go. Field's not in sight. Go around button was pushed. Autopilot disconnect. Throttle's coming up. I've rested the descent rate, gear coming up. RPMs are going up to 2450. Excellent. Flaps are up. Chicago Approach, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you, climbing out of 2100, left turn heading 330, and uh, stop at 2.5 or 3, whatever your preference is. November 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago departure, radar contact, maintain 2,500, block 3,000. One Bravo Charlie, Roger, 2,500. So now I'll come back here, go to the FMS page. Altitude. All right, we've got two page dialed in here. Fuel selector set as needed. Fly heading 360 vectors for the RNAV runway 10 approach. And uh, do you find a circle? One Bravo Charlie, uh, vectors for the RNAV. Uh, and no, on this one, I'd like to get the public submission if I can. I think it goes down to Juliet. Seven more one Bravo Charlie, Roger, expected. One BC, thank you. So now I need to load the procedure real quick. Okay. RNAV 10, enter. There's a lot going on here. And for one Bravo Charlie, is this vectors to final? For one Bravo Charlie, uh, I was planning on it, but if you want to go to New Miz, they can bend you out a little. No, vectors to final works, one Bravo Charlie. Roger. No, for one Bravo Charlie, fly heading 010. One Bravo Charlie, heading 010. Wow, that's going to be a quick turn on. 
You're busy in a twin Cessna trying to do this. We're heading 010, the approach is activated. We're going to do the published mist on this one. Oh, nav, maintain 3000. Final approach course is uh, heading uh, zero one, Charlie, fly heading 070. You're six miles from HOSAV. Maintain at or above 2500 to establish final approach course. Clear to RNAV runway 10 approach. I'm Bravo Charlie heading 070, 2500 to establish cleared RNAV runway 10. Uh, and you're going to go down to. So we cross HOSAV 2600 and then uh, LPV down to 956. Excellent. Missed approach for this one since we're doing the published miss is climb to 2600 direct to uh, Pepri. Yep, and then it's off to Joliet. And then uh, off to Joliet. All right, so we're heading 070. I got approach armed, so it'll capture the approach. Trace 219, uh, maintain VFR uh, below now, Chicago Bravo airspace now. You can send a your description. Power. That are good. Trace 219. Light slips alive, LPV's alive, so we're good. November 1, Bravo Charlie. Traffic as you join final at your 12, move into 11 o'clock at 3 miles, opposite direction 2,500. If you need to climb uh, to pass above traffic, that's approved. Looks like he's coming right up the final at you, actually, so I suggest to climb to 3,000. One Bravo Charlie, Roger, we'll climb to 3,000. All right, negative contact. I got him. Is he Traffic, is uh, he crossing good? at 1 o'clock, he's good. Traffic in sight. One Bravo Charlie, traffic in sight. Do I can continue the approach? One Bravo Charlie, yes. Roger, uh, you can send at your discretion. Okay. One Bravo Charlie, Roger. All right, approach is still armed. I control will steered. Well, that was nice to know you can control will still on the approach, and it'll still do it all for you. I love Number that. Number one, Bravo Charlie, expect the published miss. Contact to page tower, 120.9. One, Bravo Charlie, push in tower, next for the published miss. Uh, is there uniform, turn left then. Turn left and contact ground on Tango. Thank you, sorry. Uh, left and contact ground, please do. Tower, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you on the RNAV 10, crossing HOSEF. Cessna uh, 771, Bravo Charlie to page tower, runway 10, report the missed approach. One, Bravo Charlie will report the missed. All right, before landing checklist, alternate Eight, area. Eight, four, Eight, four, one, four, Charlie, Eight, wish to level it. Three thousand props are all set. Like the, uh, flaps. Option. Flaps, approach flaps are set. Gear, Gear down. down. Gear down, three in the green. Ox fuel pumps. Ox fuel pumps are on low. And approach speed. Approach speed is maintained. We're at 140. Checklist complete. This will give us time going to the mist to reset. We're getting so busy. If you get Space cold, we can turn the heat on. Eight, helicopter, ten miles southeast, ten miles to the north side, tail. Going 219 to page star report, a mile southeast of the north side tilt. Report a mile southeast, Troy 219. There you go. It's nice to be in a twin session where the heat works. Yeah. Turn my CO detector on whenever I have the heat going. It's attached to my seatbelt so I can feel it vibrate. Oh, well, that's a great idea. I've got one on a watch that tells me when I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at zero. And I feel heat, so we're Cherokee. good. 599 Charlie, 15 miles to the north, uh, landing. All right, speed is good. We're 1,300 for 960. Call from the north, uh, position, and call sign again. Cherokee 99 Charlie, uh, 14 uh, miles to the north. Oh, that'll be down low. Yeah. 99 Charlie to page, runway's tower, enter, left, runway's down, down one, runway two left, report. Go around, bud. full stop landing. Throttle's coming in. Gear coming up. One Bravo Charlie's gone missed. Positive rate of climb. Flaps coming up. There one Bravo Charlie Roger. Right turn out approved. One Bravo Charlie Roger. We're doing the published mist. Now on your Avidine, do you need to tell it that you're that you're cycling to the next leg of the segment of the approach? Or no, no. The Avidine will do go. it all on its own. Nice. See in the Garmin, you got that suspend button, and you know, press it. You're in suspense mode. You actually press the suspend button to unsuspend it. Yeah. That's what you're doing. This is nice. One Bravo Charlie, contact departure. One BC, contact departure. Departure Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is published, miss 2600. November 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago departure. Your radar contact cleared into Bravo airspace, maintain VFR at 3000. One Bravo Charlie cleared in the Bravo VFR at 3000, and we're making the right turn now to Juliet. Altitude. November 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger. All right, so he gave us 3000. Okay. So now we'll VS up to 3000.
So it's a, you know, people get, they don't realize how busy you get in these things. I had a customer out the other day, picked him up at Waukesha Airport, flew him to Janesville for lunch, left Janesville, flew back to Waukesha, all, all IFR, and he's asking, talking to me, asking a million questions, and I finally had to politely, <laughs> I should have told him before he got in the airplane, hey, yeah. this is like a 10 minute uh, ballistics uh, mission up and down. And um, just kind of warned him that, hey, I'm probably going to need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Couldn't entertain him. Instead of being rude in flight, giving him the hand. You know, yeah. Stop talking hand. November 1, Bravo Charlie, altitude is your discretion. Traffic two miles south of the Joliet VR, northbound altitude indicates 2,700. 1, Bravo Charlie. Okay, we'll uh, maybe we'll just climb up to 31. Thanks. Right Kevin. What's up? <laughs> November 1, Bravo Charlie, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles it. northbound, now indicating 2,000. Any factor? Right below us. 1, Bravo Charlie has traffic in sight, we're climbing. Roger. Here he is up our right wing, I got him, you're safe. Alright. I should be entering the hold now. November 1, Bravo Charlie, seems like that traffic is the same idea as you. They're uh, uh, two miles north southbound at 2,800, so. All right, you'll have to judge which one of us flies the hold better. All right, I'll keep an eye on them. Thanks, Cam. So here we go. We have checked off uh, two approaches, yep. and now we're checking off the hold. November 8, Sir Romeo. And we're refueling the main November tanks. 8, we are so Romeo efficient. Traffic. We're doing in good. the pattern at the Calvary Airport. Put in. K-L-O-T, enter. We're gonna go direct to Lewis. Hey enter. Kev, can you give me a right turn to 30 degrees? Right, right turn? Yep, right Romeo, turn Romeo right one of those aircraft appears to be leaving the pattern at your 10 o'clock, one mile. Same direction, 2,100 and in the climb. R-9-9, off of Gatley. Okay, looking for traffic. And approach for one Bravo Charlie. We like the uh, RNAV runway 9 at Lewis off of Gatley. We do have the weather. We're exiting the hold. We're on a 300 heading now to avoid that traffic. November 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger. Expect it. And uh, just maintain VFR, your present altitude or higher. Okay, present altitude or higher, one Bravo Charlie. And uh, let me know when I can go down to 2.5. November 1 Bravo Charlie, flying 360, Gatley 1 able. 1 BC heading 360, Gatley 1 able. November 0, Victor Tango, you're one six miles from Bomer, cross Bomer at or above 3,000, cleared ILS runway 2 left approach. Cross Bomer at 3,000, clear for ILS 2 left approach, 0, Victor Tango. November 1, Bravo Charlie, 4 miles from Bomer, maintain at or above 2,500 to establish on the final approach course, cleared RNAV runway 9 -er, straight in approach. One Bravo Charlie, Roger, clear our nav straight in runway 9 at about 2,500 till established. We're direct Gatley, we're clear for the approach. Cross Gatley at 2,500, Hobo to 1,800, it's an LPV approach down to 1,124. And one Bravo Charlie, after this, uh, we'll just do a right turn out VFR and we're going to do the RNAV 1-8 at Morris. November 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger. All right, LPV is armed. Altitude 200 to go. November 1 Bravo Charlie, that traffic that's uh, orbiting in Joliet VR is off your right wing. Uh, three Inside. Clock, two miles, currently northeast bound at 2,600. Slow them over, change for advisors approved. One Bravo Charlie, has some insight. Talk to you in a bit. Lewis traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's on a 10 mile final runway 9, low approach, practice RNAV, Lewis. On the channel. Altitude. Hey, thank you very much. We get lots of love. Hey, right, do. We appreciate you guys. Light slips live, fuel pumps are on low. Alright, so I got one crossing right to left, 500 feet above us. Light slips one dot high, approach flaps coming in. Whenever you're slow enough, let's get a landing light on. 
or gear coming down. All right, lights on. Coming up on MIMS, 1200, go around button selected, throttles coming up. Autopilot disconnect. RPM's coming up, gear coming up, mixture's coming up, positive rate, flaps are coming up, got a clamp going, Looks autopilot's good. coming on. Autopilot set, 2500. 5 7 Echo entering downwind 4, runway 5 being overhead, short of the clear right? Clear right. Clear right, turn right. Lewis traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is over the field going missed off a of 9, turning right southbound, climbing out of 1800 for 2500, Lewis. Almost had the prop sort of synced. Sounds good to me. These light speed headsets are so good I can't hear a thing outside. <laughs> they do have pretty good noise canceling. Yeah, I won't I won't mention the headsets that I have, but I'm very impressed with these. <laughs> for quite a bit less money. Yeah. They're everybody's comfortable and the noise canceling is just as good. Approach from Cessna seven seven one Bravo Charlie's with you off the climb out and we're at two thousand six hundred. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago departure, better contact. Do you want to go uh, vectors to Hamco or vectors to final? Uh, I'll take uh, vectors to final on this one. Number one, Bravo Charlie, Roger. Fly heading 290, vectors RNAV runway 18 more. Heading 290, vectors for the RNAV runway 18. Maybe I spelled Morris wrong. Howdy. I think somebody was saying hi, but I'm not sure. I'm going to turn the autopilot off. You ready? Yep. Um, autopilot's off. One Bravo Charlie, turn left, heading 210, intercept the final approach course. One Bravo Charlie, left, heading 210, intercept the final approach course. Standard rate turn. Uh, fuel pumps on. Fuel pumps on low. And rolling out on a 210 heading. Yeah, oh, it's coming in. It's a coming in. Bravo Charlie, you're three from BEMC, so maintain VFR, clear down to one eight approach to Morris. One Bravo Charlie, clear on F runway one eight Morris. One Bravo Charlie, uh, what approach do you, want, do you want to do after this one? After this one, uh, we'll go do the two at the cap. This is the difference between autopilot so and uh, flying. Right, so the, the final approach course was one eight two. So this is where you're doing all this math in your head that you don't realize how fatigued you get until you get on the ground and you fall asleep immediately. <laughs> All right, we're one dot high. Coming in with flaps. Now I actually have to fight this, unlike the autopilot. All right, here we go. Okay, alternate air. Alternate airs are in. Mixtures, props. Uh, mixtures and props are set. Flaps. Flaps, approach flaps are set. Gear down. Gears down, three in the green. And aux fuel pumps. Ox fuel pumps are on low. Approach speed. Approach speed is a little fast, but we'll get there. Checklist complete. Man, your heater works better than mine. It's really sensitive. Well, it should. I spent $6,000 on it. Had it overhauled. I spent $6,000 on a lot of things on my airplane that don't <laughs> work very well. So that synthetic vision is just, it's just awesome. You can see the crab angle that we got in up here. Pretty hefty. Morris traffic to Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's on a three mile final runway 18, doing a low approach, Morris. Approach to Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's with you on the climb mount, Altitude, and we're leveling to 3000. 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago departure, your radar contact, and uh, fly heading of 330, vectors for runway 2, localizer approach into the cap. 330, and if we could get the RNAV runway 2 off a of JITUV, that would be great. Bro, shall I expect that? Thanks, Andy. Yep. All right. All right, so we're going to KDKB. Yep. Man, this cooks your brain. Yeah, you're doing awesome. I'm, I'm cooked just watching you. Procedure, RNAV 2. 
Off a jet tube. Activate the approach map. Altitude. All right. So, briefing the approach, we're uh, going to DeKalb, Taylor Municipal. Yep. RNAV GPS, runway two. Yep. Um, the jet tube at or above 20, at 27, tug be at 27. Then the final approach course, 0 2 1. Okay. Genio at 27. Intercept there for the LPV down to 1207. Is that what you got? Yep. Looking good, and then we're not going to do the published mist on this one either. We've already checked that box. Are you okay with all the intensities on the lights in here? Oh, yeah. I love it. I like the red LEDs on the yeah. instrument cluster. Wow. What a difference. I love post it. Post lights. Cold, I, frick, all those I hate post lights. Yeah. Exactly. This airplane is a really nice combination of old school and new school. Yeah. Thank you. Let's clear your direct you direct to You're at Jet Do. Maintain VFR. You're cleared RNAV approach at 2. One Bravo Charlie, thank you. Clear our nav approach for noise two. Start down to twenty seven. Roger that. A Royal Smith three zero one nine. One Bravo Charlie, this is the last approach. Or are you coming off for another one? Oh, we'll come off of this one for a quick vectors R nav nine at Aurora. Bravo Charlie, Roger, expect that. Thank you, and then we'll just be staying with them for the rest of the night. LPV is activated, glide slope is alive. No traffic between you and the airport. To cap traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, six mile final runway two, practicing the RNAV two to cab, we'll do a little approach, and depart to the southeast. How's it look? I haven't seen a runway today. Looks nice, real pretty. All lit up for us. 50 feet to go. And going around. Autopilot disconnect. Approach from Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is 2.3 for 2.5, looking for vectors to RNAV 9. Bravo Charlie, Altitude, Chicago Park, contact, to go. fighting of 190, vectors RNAV 9, approach to Aurora. Heading 190, 1BC. I got 190 dialed in. We're level at 25. Nice. No traffic in sight. Major RNAV 9. Enter. Vectors to final. Activate approach. Nicely done. Approach. Man, there's a lot going on. RNAV 9. So the one Bravo Charlie turn running 210. 2101 BC. Did you up there tonight or you got some other people with you? I well, just made my buddy John, he's doing safety pilot. I got these view limiting foggles on, so I haven't seen out the window this whole entire time. Just resetting my instrument currency. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. <laughs> Jamie was going to try to come, but she got that second COVID shot and it threw her for a loop. Yeah, my wife just, this is OZ by the way, my wife got that one tonight. So she's so far so good. Oh, that's good. Good for her. Yeah, it didn't bother me much, but it, it took her out. Advise on us, contact your information uniform. This is the one from the turn one heading 180. Heading 180, 1BC. One from the Charlie, turn one heading 120, intercept the 9 or localizer. Heading 120, intercept uh, 9 RNAV approach. One from the Charlie. Sorry, I forgot you wanted an RNAV there. No worries. Light slopes alive. Bravo Fuel Charlie, four miles from Wolf. Maintain VFR. Cleared RNAV. Runway 9 or approach. Aurora. One Bravo Charlie, roger. Uh, the cleared RNAV. Runway 9 approach. Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, Wilco, and uh, I'm showing you just outside of Wolf. Yep, we're just outside of Wolf, and it'll be a full stop taxi back for this one. Roger. You got time? Oh, I got all kinds of time. Do a couple of night takeoff and landings? Yeah, why not? Might as well be night current too. Yeah. We're on glide path, on speed.
Well, these lights light it up, don't I? It's like daylight. Not the gingerest, but it'll work. That right, works. Tesla 1 Bravo Charlie, turn right on runway 154, runway 18. Um, 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger, we'll turn right on 18. Tesla 1 Bravo Charlie, turn right on runway 18, taxi back to runway 9 or via runway 18, Alpha. Hold short of runway 33 at Alpha. Alright, 18 Alpha, and we'll hold short of 33 on Alpha 1 Bravo Charlie. Tower to Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is ready to go runway 9. We'll stay in the pattern for another full stop. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, runway 9 or left close traffic, clip takeoff. Left close traffic, 9 clip takeoff, 1 BC. Probes on. Cessna 5 0 Alpha, runway 9 or clear, touch and go. We light it up like daytime. Cessna 5 0 Alpha, runway 9 or clear land. Clear land, runway 9 or 5 0 Alpha. Alright. Lining up on center line. Man, look how bright this thing is. Oh, it's awesome, isn't it? Jeez. What a difference. Yeah. Now, these are the wag arrows, right? The wheeling. Wheeling, sorry. Yeah. I should know that because I bought the same wedge <laughs> you did. All right. Everything's looking good. Brakes release. Gages are in the green. Yep, everything's green. All green. Fuel flows look good. Airspeed's alive. 70, 80, 90. Rotate. Go for flight. Flights are retracting. Clapping out a blue line. Maybe do one night, more. Kevin. You want to do one more? Say again. Have a good night. Oh, thanks. You too. See ya. See ya. That often you get to share uh, the pattern with Fleet Pilot. Oh, thank you much. So. Here's down. Have you ever done a, a lights out approach on this airplane? Not on this one, no. We can try it on the next one. Nice. Planted. it. Well guys, the night flight kind of got ended early on the cameras. Unfortunately, they ran out of juice. That's part of flying and filming is you end up with some bad flights where you lose a lot of data. But got all the instrument approaches done and was able to check out the light gun signals. I do have this flying vest thing that my dad had given me. I think it's like 30 years old, so I'm just gonna see what happens here when I pull this. I've always been curious and I was moving and didn't need it, so here we go. Jerk to inflate. Three, two, one. <laughs> that hurt a little. <laughs> so evidently, it will work. <laughs> after 20 years, although it may have bloodied my nose. It wasn't very, uh, <laughs> it wasn't very seamless, but <laughs> get this thing off of me. <laughs> John, stab it. <laughs> Jeez, still works. And this thing would definitely keep you out of the water. All right, in case you guys were wondering how that works. <laughs>